All right, hope everybody's been uh, doing well. Finally got another video done. I've kind of been losing my voice at night from, I guess, allergies or something, which I've really never had before. But uh, these are the Platinum Red Mosaic Big Ears and the, uh, well, and the plants. Somewhere in there are the Red Dragons. Let's see if I can get them to uh, show the heck up. It's one of the females, one of the males. Uh, I did lose the mail um, just over a couple, about a week ago of uh, <clears throat> the uh, Platinum Red Mosaic Big Ears. That was a really, really nice mail. Uh, I don't know what happened. Just uh, overnight, I just woke up and he wasn't in the tank anymore. He was kind of dead up in the plants. So there's some mail of the Red Dragons. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I did get uh, fry out of these, and I got about 40 fry or so out of the red dragons. And uh, I'll be right back with that. Right, so they're eating some uh, live sea monkeys, baby sea monkeys. These are the uh, fry from the platinum red mosaic big ears. And they are about 10 days old now. And they're doing rather well. They're just in a half gallon glass drum container and I'll be moving them into a five and a half uh, most likely tomorrow because I don't want to lose any of these are uh, these are going to be all I have left other than the two females so uh, we'll get uh, them into a bigger tank and see if I can, can kind of see the pink bellies which let you know they're eating the sea monkeys very cool so what do you call a snake that wears a hard hat all the time? A boa constructor. A boa constructor. God, that's awful. But it's not bad. At the same time. Yeah, I know you didn't like that one. So, yeah, I'll try to get back to doing videos a little bit quicker. I really just ran into a bit where I just was falling asleep at night and not getting anything done. I mean, I feed the fish and everything during the day. So I uh, give them the sea monkeys normally during the day, in the morning or the second meal of the day. Uh, unfortunately, now I'm doing it at night. And, uh, yeah, they're looking good. And the only thing I wanted to update was the, uh, the albino koi. Now, this ended up being a male, thank goodness. He's starting to get his colors, which is helpful. It's not a belly slider, which is helpful. And that's the original female, which looks good. Starting to fill up a little bit, but uh, and hopefully I can get at least one more drop out of her before she drops, but I'm bumped. So at least there's some progress with it. Uh, what would you call a reluctant potato? A hesitator, a hesitator. Oh, that's awful. And these were uh, five fry that she also had. Uh, I had mentioned in a prior video. These have turned out to be three males and one female. Somewhere there's a female. And it looks uh, definitely progressing here. These are all pretty good. Uh, I got to monitor how much red I'm getting with these males to make sure they still look like koi. But... Uh, the original mail that was the slider that should have never been shipped was uh, f completely red. So, so we'll see. I'll just have to, uh, when I get the next drop, I will have to just uh, pull out any sliders, if there are any, uh, so I can get that out of the system of these things. And then I can get this line going. That's, that's the plan anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to try to get it started from uh, the original, well, I had a trio, but it ended up being a pair because uh, one female died right away. So it wasn't exactly a successful uh, purchase, which is pretty much my experience any time I've tried to buy uh, fish from people that import them and sell on eBay. It's, uh, they're, I don't know, they don't either keep the fish long enough to quarantine them right or they don't know what they're doing or probably both many of the people that import fish 
they tell you they quarantine the fish with a wonderful uh, group of meds or trio of meds. And then miraculously, they're on their website to sell within uh, three days. You gotta, you gotta quarantine them for more than three days, especially if you're using multiple medicines. So if I import fish, which is rare, uh, what I do is I used to buy from the best breeders I could find over there, but uh, sadly they're out of uh, the fish biz as of now. They're, they had to move on something else after COVID hit. So uh, the people I've bought from the last two times, uh, their fish aren't very good. But I'm doing the best I can with it so I can... Uh, you know have the two new lines I wanted for whatever the reasons these were just going to be uh, to sell uh, so I'm just gonna wait until I get all healthy fry out of them and uh, that they breed true so <clears throat> that's what's going on so anyway I just want to get a video done so I haven't done one in quite a while and uh, I was going to do it on the Russian Red Lake Snakeskins, which I have cranking pretty good now. Uh, I have a couple of breeder tanks, so I'll show them, and I have a few tanks of fry. I, I don't know if I'll show that or not, because that's kind of boring. But anyhow, I just want to show these, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it kind of feels like summer here. Uh, it's what the heck is today may 11th going into the 12th and i actually had to flip the central air conditioning on because uh it's going up to 85 tomorrow so a little early for uh, early may but hey it's the way it is all right thank you so much for watching and uh i'll try to do the red lace snakeskins in uh, a couple of days so you can see how they're doing and uh, if you have any questions just let me know you can send me an email or you can uh, just post it in the comments. And I appreciate you watching and hanging in there. And hopefully I'll be back to regular schedule of doing videos and telling bad jokes. And uh, the next video, I'll have a really bad joke uh, submitted by Mike Burns. Fabulous guppy breeder in Wisconsin, or as I call it, Wisconsin. And uh, it's actually a pretty good joke. All right. Uh, see you on the next one.